Welcome back and uh, thanks for watching uh, my YouTube channel. This video is going to be about the assembling the wing for the Radiant Pro. And I'm going to simulate uh, like I'm at the field. I transported it to the field with my storage uh, solution here. Uh, the box, uh, the stand box. And uh, part of the reason I'm doing this is to see how long it takes me. <laughs> so I figured I'd tape it at the same time. Um, so, uh, without further ado, here we go. First thing I'm going to do is unhook this side of the, uh, of the stand box. Turn it around here. Unhook this side of the stand box. And uh, on the top here, I have the blend derm and the tools that I need, things I need there, screws and all. And I've got my pair of scissors sitting here. I've got my screwdriver sitting there in one of these holes. And uh, now I can take this off and set it to the side. And now I can use this actually as a work stand uh, to assemble the wing. So first thing I want to do is take out the um, carbon fiber rod and um, let's get the wings out. Okay, there's one wing. And there's the other wing. I can put that portion of the stand aside. And uh, Grab my carbon fiber rod, put that in the hole. Make sure it goes in all the way. I can feel it bottom out. Okay. Then I can put the uh, this wing in place. Let the stand hold it like that. Put this wing in. And I just realized I forgot to do something. So I gotta start over. Um, I didn't feed the the um, the uh, leads with the servos in the wing into the hole here. So I only got to push it in part way and put those two servo leads into the little hole and then put it in place. Okay. That looks good and tight. Now what I can do probably easy enough is to flip this over put this wing in from the same side. Let's see if this actually works. It should. Make sure I'm getting it in the right hole here. There's only one hole. <laughs> okay. And then I just need to yeah, nope, that's going to work better upside, right side up. When it's right side up, the, it's easier to uh, just push those down into the hole that they go in. So I'm just going to not tip it upside down, I guess. So we get one lead in. That's the uh, aileron. Being the rudder, okay, and you got to make sure that they don't get crimped underneath, and you got to make sure they pull through. They just slide them all the way across. There we go. That 
that's good. Okay, now that they're started into the hole, I can turn this upside down and make sure all four are being pulled tightly up. One, two. Looks like I'll need a pair of squeezers. So it might be a good idea to have a pair of tweezers in this. Okay. If tweezers don't work, I could use a pair of needle nose pliers. Alright, so there's one, that's two, there's number three and four. see part of the issue here is that the um, tweezers aren't going to work as well. So I'm going to need a pair of needle nose pliers. The tweezers aren't strong enough to um, actually pull them up. So I'll just use a pair of needle nose pliers here. And here we go. One. So the needle nose pliers is really what you need instead of, of um, tweezers. Okay, now that those are up, um, we're going to plug all the uh, servo leads in. Okay, and the first one to get put in will be the right aileron. That's the one with this little blue um, tape on it. I use the color codes. Okay. So that's the first one that gets put into the receiver. And make sure the black wire is in the correct direction. It does make it easier. in. Okay, next will be the elevator. That'll be uh, right here. Black wire in the down position. the rudder, black wire. Okay. And then we need the two flaps. And for the flaps I need to get out my Y connector. Y connector. I'm going to put the Y connector into the radio first. Okay. And then I got the two Y leads here. It doesn't matter which one goes to which as long as the black wire goes to the black wire. Okay. And the black wire is going to go to the black wire. Turn 
turn it over, the black wire is going to go to the black wire. <laughs> if it's hard to put in, this probably means the black wire isn't matched up to the black wire. There you go. All right. Okay, so that's in. And last but not least, the left aileron, which is labeled with a white tape, white painter's tape. And get the black wire in the right position. And that's in place. Okay. Last but not least, I need my two screws. And my screwdriver is right there. So now what I'm going to do is make sure that these wings are aligned and tight in. And then try to put the screw into the hole. And you're pushing on a plastic piece on the other side here. So I'll, I'll just put my finger underneath it to make sure it gets in there good and tight. Unscrew in. Okay. And this screw gets put in. together. Now the last thing we got to do is uh, sort of bundle all this up. I'm going to stick the uh, variometer back down where it goes here uh, along these where all these wires are goes down in there just like that. And the variometer's in there. Okay. Now, since I'm going to put blend derm tape on this, I may not actually use a, a, um, um, a tie wrap to tie that down. So, um, uh, I think we're done. I don't know how long it takes. I'll uh, review the video to see what the time was. And um, uh, you've seen me put the blend derm tape on. It's real simple. I got my scissors here, got my blend derm tape here. So uh, putting that on, I'll do off camera. You've seen me do that before. So um, that was actually a little easier than I thought. Uh, it was easy also because you have this stand here and uh, um, makes it much simpler to uh, put it together. So thank you uh, for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.